What happened? You were trying to hit a horse fly? Oh, I thought you just lost your balance. Welcome back to the channel. We are camping again. At Bon Echo. We love Bon Echo. It is a huge park. It got very destroyed last year in the storm that came through and took down some of the trees at our property. It also came through here and took down a significant chunk of the park. So the sites that we stayed on last time are closed still. The trail that we did last summer is also closed still. The access to Joe Perry Lake was closed last year, but they've since cleaned it up and opened it up. That's where I like to fish, though, so I'll be fishing there in the morning. Yeah, but the rest of the park is open, and we are in a new site today. It's a little bit more populated down here, but it's still pretty nice. Yeah, there are more populated sites at this campground, so there's like it's almost like uh, living in a subdivision in one area of this place. It's pretty crazy. Yeah, it's not too bad here. Drive up was good. Some of the kids fell asleep. The dogs were definitely asleep. It was a quiet ride up. We got here and set up right away, and we went down to the beach. We also did a bit of paddleboarding. Mason took his kayak out. We haven't really done a whole lot. We're trying to dial it down right now. The kids are up riding their bikes right now, which is what that squeaking brake noise is that you keep hearing. We also went to the dog park where the dogs run around for a minute. They oh yeah, the dog beach. Well, I'll call it a dog park, but it's actually a beach where the dogs can run around and swim. So this park has basically everything uh, that Ontario parks have to offer. This is by far my favorite park that Ontario parks has to date that we've been to. As great as this park is, there still is things like at the other public places we go, which is barking dogs. Yeah, check. Car alarms. It is very busy in yes. here. So for the rest of the evening, we're just gonna make some supper and then uh, I'm gonna probably retire kind of early cause I wanna get up early before the sun and then uh, make the trek down to Joe Perry Lake, do some fishing and I'll probably take Mason with me. There's also a total burn ban on here too, which has definitely changed the way that we planned our meals for this trip. We were gonna do s'mores tonight with the kids, but I guess we'll have to do it on the barbecue. Yeah, we'll have to roast the marshmallows on the barbecue. Yeah, it has been a complete and total fire burn ban this whole season so yeah. far. Even at home, just in our local in our local uh, municipality, it's there's a burn ban on there as well. We are trying to make the most of this trip as it is our last camping trip of the season. We did not book a whole bunch of camping like we usually do. And that is because if you've tuned into our last video, you will know that we are moving and the rest of our summer is dedicated to packing up our house and our animals and, and shipping out. Yeah, relocate. Relocating. That's going to take a lot of our time. So we had to give up a little bit of our time camping to get that all facilitated. So anyway, that's that. So you want to make some supper? Yeah, I'm getting hungry. It's late yeah. already. You can get in if you want. That's your seat there. Okay, do you want to find yourself a lure that you want to use or what do you want to fish with? Uh, can I, can I 
Yeah, sure. You should pass me your rod there. Hope there's something swimming over there. So look for an opening in the in the weed pile. You can see the tails flipping over there. Oh, no. There's a fish on mine. A pull. You got him. There he is. He's fighting pretty good, yeah. Oh, he's good. Oh, yeah, that's Here, Cole, bring it down this way so I can grab it. Bring it down towards me. Oh, just get him in the boat. Yeah. yeah, we'll put him on the thing for now. Oh, that thing's a good one. Yeah, it's pretty good. I got it. I got it stuck in the weeds and then it came over. That guy was a good one. It's worth all the bugs already. Oh, there he goes. You think he's got it? Or he spit it out. Oh, he spit it out. all the way over there by the rock. Oh. How do you catch them just right in front of the boat all the time? Just a little guy. Didn't even do a good pass too. I know, he just dropped right in front of the boat. Yeah. It's just a little one again. Just a little guy. Yeah. You should never reel it right to the end, though. There you go. Okay. Is that a keeper? No. Oh, man. Another smallmouth. Nice. Is it breakfast time? Yeah. How many fish have you caught so far? Eleven. How many did you got? I got seven. And me? You got four. Yeah. We're just waiting for that giant one, aren't we? Yes, we are. Seeing how you're ahead, I'll just keep fishing and try to catch up while you eat. Alright, no problem. Maybe catch a big one. side, remember? This one's a bit better. Come on, mister. It looks reasonable. It looks like the size of my first one. No, nah, he's going better. Did you get any fish? Yes, got it. Did you? You were gone for like six hours. I yeah. thought you were gonna come back with like ten fish. We got a few nibbles. That sounds like lies. It is. This is not really lying. No. <laughs> Who caught those? I did. Both of them? Yeah. Nice. I caught eight and Jeff caught seven. You caught eight? Why do we only have two? Because the, the other ones were small. Yeah. Oh, nice. We can have fish tacos then for supper. Let's see. They're both small. Everything we caught were small now.
Sit on your butt, man. It's easier. Hey, get back here, Eddie. Eddie, get back here. That's dark. You're rocking my bow. <laughs> <laughs> Abby, you're whacking me with your stick. You hit me with yours. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna have some fish tacos tonight. This is the smallmouth bass that uh, Mason and I caught earlier. Well, these are the smallmouth bass that Mason caught earlier. We caught about 15 fish between the two of us. Um, Mason caught eight, I caught seven, but uh, he caught this, I think it was about three and a half pounds smallmouth. The other one was about two pounds. been a long day, early morning of fishing. Could be smart. How's your crossword? Great. Team crossword.
That's a wrap for our second camping trip of the year. Our second and last. Second and last, because yeah. we've got other things to do. Uh, Mason and I, never we never made it out fishing this morning. I, myself, was a little bit tired, plus it was kind of rainy. I was up at 4.30. It rained through the night and last night. Yeah, the weather was actually not bad. It was better than I thought it was going to be. It was supposed to rain the whole time, but it only actually rained for the one day. And we are down picking up the canoe because Jeff and Mason did not go out fishing last night, so the canoe has just been sitting, yeah, sitting down a hill. That's right. So, yeah, that was good. Yeah. First time camping and with the kids this year. They seem to enjoy it. Had lots of fun out in the water yesterday. It was a good time, all in all. Oh yeah, the paddle boarding, yeah. Yeah, it was good. Now we're gonna grab a canoe, we're gonna head back up and we're probably gonna stop at a fry truck on the way home. Yes. And that'll be a wrap for camping this year. And I'm not really sad about it because the bugs have been so bad this year. That's it for today though. That's it, so. We'll see you on the next one. See ya. Mm -hmm.